Chapter 4, Finding the Inspiration, the Key to Incredible Productivity, but the most important key ingredient for doing lots of great work, is to be passionate and inspired by your work. Inspiration is different from motivation. Motivation is being able to push yourself to work even when you don't want to. But inspiration means having ideas for how you want your project to turn out. It means visualizing it when it's complete, and it means wanting to get back to work to put those ideas and plans into action. When you are inspired by work, it becomes intrinsically motivating. That means that you want to do it for its own sake. One way to accomplish this, is to think about the type of work you're doing. If you find that you are consistently being given tasks that you find dull or boring, or that you really can't be excited about, then perhaps it is time to assess whether you're in the right line of work. Should you consider changing jobs? Because when you find work you really love, you'll find you become instantly more productive and better at working. Now of course, changing jobs won't be an option for everyone. You might not have this luxury. Moreover, even if you love your job, there will be still be tasks and jobs that you don't love. No one loves every single part of their job. So another thing to do, is to try and look at whatever it is you're doing, and then make it more interesting. So if there is a particular task you need to do, find a way to gamify it, or to make it something you are more passionate about. Look at more inspirational examples of the work that you're doing, try to understand the craft and the artistry that can go into the best examples of that work, and then find a way to turn it into something that you can feel pride in and get excited to do. Going back to the example of the writer, many writers find they struggle with writer's block when they reach specific scenes. They get stuck on a scene and find they procrastinate around writing it. Often, they will eventually push through. So why did they get stuck in the first place, and what can they, and you, learn from that? In many cases, it comes down to the fact that that scene in the book is less interesting or exciting. Often it will be an exposition scene, or two characters talking. Pushing through is not the solution. Think about it, if it is that boring to write, think how dull it will be to read. So the answer instead, is to change the scene so that it becomes more interesting and so that you can bring yourself to read it. Maybe set the exposition scene in a more interesting location, have them playing chess, or place a ticking time bomb under the table to add tension. Suddenly, that scene is easier to write. This same concept can be applied to many different dull tasks. Assigned with a website to build that you really don't feel all that interested in building. Then think about ways you can go above and beyond with the design, so that it becomes something truly special. You'll get more work done because you'll be keen to get to work on it, and the client will be more satisfied with the result. Entering data? This is much harder, but if you view it as a challenge, and if you think about how focused you can be, then this can help to make the task more inherently interesting. If you love what you do, then you'll be more than happy to put in extra time. 